Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub and today we are going to talk about why people use the glass wool in GC inlet liner. You must have seen a inlet liner in the injector port of the gas chromatography which is mostly made up of the glass. And you must have noticed the presence of glass wool at the bottom of the inlet liner. So why people use this glass wool? What happens in case if you do not use the glass wool is going to be the part of discussion. So you can see a diagram of an injector port and uh, there is a septa present inside the sample injector port and through this septa the sample gets introduced. Isn't it? And once the sample gets into the injector port it actually travels through the inlet liner and it is represented by the gray colored uh, object. It is most of the times made up of the glass and sometimes for high temperature applications it may be made up of the graphite. So what happens once the sample get introduced into the injector port the sample undergoes vaporization and then it transfer it, then it get transferred to the column. But before it get transferred to the column it has to travel through the glass wool. You can see the presence of glass wool at the bottom of this inlet liner. So today's topic is uh, why this small amount of glass wool is important and required in the inlet liner. Though it is a small amount but it plays a very important role in the gas chromatography. So you can see the how the glass wool looks like and it just looks like a cotton you know in another way so glass wool is a heat and sound insulator or sound resistor so why the glass wool insulate or resist the heat because of this one reason the glass wool fibers create millions of tiny air pockets which traps the air and these air pockets make glass wool a poor conductor of heat and the sound so the air present inside the glass wool fiber make it a poor conductor of heat and sound. The first important point why you must think of using the glass wool is the enhanced vaporization. That means in case if you put a small amount of glass wool in the inlet liner, your vaporization efficiency is going to get enhanced. Vaporization of the analyte present into the inlet liner is going to get increased or enhanced. What is the reason for that? The glass wool in the inlet liner enhances the vaporization of the compound by avoiding temperature loss inside the liner due to its heat insulating property. We just understand that the glass liner is a bad conductor of heat and if it present inside the inlet liner it actually avoids the loss of temperature. It does not allow the loss of temperature inside the inlet liner and if the temperature of the inlet liner does not get dropped it actually can help in increasing the vaporization or maintaining the vaporization of the analyte present into the inlet liner. So this is very important property of the glass wool that enhances the vaporization of the analyte. The second important reason why you must use the glass wool is the improved reproducibility. Means if you conduct the reproducibility study or if you want to understand how you can enhance your precision of the analytical method, how you can improvise your response precision, I think glass wool must be considered. The liners with the wool create a turbulent zone allowing homogenization of the sample for reproducible mixing with the carrier gas upon injection. See before the sample goes in on to the column, if you can look in the diagram, the sample has to pass through the glass wool and when it travels through the glass wool, glass wool it creates a turbulent and through this turbulent process the homogenization of the sample is going to take place. And such a homogenized sample when transferred onto the column is going to give the consistent, precise or reproducible response. 
so this is one reason why the glass wool can be used in the inlet liner the next important point one can consider the glass wool is to avoid the analyte condensation or loss see when the analyte can get condensed if there is a pocket inside the inlet liner with the lower temperature because lower temperature can condense the vaporized analyte and if the analyte get condensed then they you are going to lose the analyte so the how the glass wool helps in losing uh, avoiding this condensation the wool prevents analyte from hitting the bottom of the inlet liner where they can condense and get lost see before the sample transfer on to the column it has to go through the glass wool so if there is a glass wool present at the bottom of the inlet liner it will not hit directly to the bottom of the inlet liner rather than that it will actually transfer to the glass wool and hence the condensation due to the hitting the vaporized portion of the analyte on to the bottom of the inlet liner will get avoided and if there is no condensation hence there is no loss of the analyte so glass wool also helps in avoiding the condensation and hence the loss of the analyte this is very important uh, aspect in case if you are uh, analyzing a trace level analyze it also helps in preventing the column contamination see the wool can help to catch in volatile material and also septa particles preventing the column contamination especially in case of uh, direct liquid injection some of the analytes or sample matrix may get solubilized into the solvent but may not get volatile may not get vaporized when they uh, enters into the injector port and if they do not undergo vaporization now they are remains as a particles and if such a particles transferred onto the column your column can get irreversibly damaged so this glass wool also helps as a filter and this actually captures this involatile particulates matter present into the sample matrix and protects your column sometimes you must have seen that the septa that you can see in the diagram over here where the sample gets introduced is a rubber like material and because of the wear and tear for multiple times of injections the septa particles may also enters into the liner and the septa particles if they go on to the column they can also certainly damage the column irreversibly so our glass wool at the bottom of inlet liner also helps in protecting the column similarly the glass wool can also help to achieve the improved response for your analyte the use of wool helps to improve response by providing extra surface area and avoiding the loss of analyte we talked about the loss of analyte under point number 3 and because of that it promotes the thorough vaporization and transfer on to the analytical column so this helps eventually in improved response for your analyte so i think there are many advantages of uh, using the glass wool in the liner but one has to also think about you know replacing the glass wool on frequently basis because this glass wool gets contaminated because of your sample matrix uh in volatile particles and the replacement of the glass wool is very essential one has to also think of uh, cleaning the liners on the frequently basis i hope this video will help us to understand why one has to consider the glass wool thank you so much